CBS Sports Network continues our quadruple header with a Pac-12 Mountain West matchup. Number 19, Stanford 2-0. San Diego State getting sent to square off. And Jay Feely, there's David Shaw. Remarkable run he's had. His counterpart, Rocky Long, you can say the same about him. He is hard-nosed. They both are, and their teams are as well. Two great coaches that have physical teams. They love to play the same kind of offensive football, Ben, and that's smash mouth. Punch you in the mouth. They want you to know what they're going to do, and then they want you to try and stop it. There is no question about that. Two of the top running backs in the country in Rashad Penny and Bryce Love will be on display tonight. John Barron has the ball teed up to kick it away for San Diego State. A tremendous turnout here, and the ball game is underway. Cameron Scarlett lets it go into the end zone. And Stanford will start from their own 25, our Chick-fil-A starting lineups. Jay, we start with a quarterback for the Cardinal. He's got football in his blood, Keller Christ. He does, loves the game. Very smart decision maker, doesn't make bad decisions. Perfectly thrown deep balls, really good touch. Last week against USC was his first loss of his college career. We'll see how he, he responds. This entire offense, Ben, they really need to find a, a way to respond. And we've seen a big changes on that offensive line. That's one of the changes that the coaches have made. Big time changes up front. We'll detail that as we get into the broadcast. First play from scrimmage. They swing it out to Irwin in space. And I say a white side trying to make a block there and a decent pickup for Irwin there as we continue on our Chick-fil-A lineup. Stanford offense, Jay, who do you highlight tonight? Well, center Jesse Burkett, he's going to make all the calls. It's an aggressive downhill defense blitzing from all over. He's the only constant on this offensive line. You're going to see changes all over. Walker Little at left tackle, his first career start as a freshman. Bright moves over, so they have changes everywhere except for the center. Can they control themselves, understand what this defense is doing? Second and six, plenty of time, that goes away, and he sacked his Chris back at the 16-yard line. The reigning Mountain West Defensive Player of the Week, Noble Hall, took him down. Number 95, Noble Hall inside, he's going to come, just beat his block, get inside. He had two sacks last week against Arizona State, picking up right where he left off, and problems right away on that offensive line for Stanford. Of course, he is a humble guy, said his teammates gave them the credit, but he put up great numbers. Third and long for Stanford. They need 14 to convert. Sean Blitz coming outside. Chris has time, goes across the field. Man out there, overthrows the intended target. As he was looking downfield for Stewart, he couldn't find him, Donald Stewart. Rocky Long brings a blitz from the outside. Not a lot of pressure, but unable to complete the pass. Third and long, not what either team wants to be in. These teams want to run the ball. They want to be physical. They want the downs and the chains to be in their favor. Chalk that one up for Rocky Long and his defense. Great coverage there by Cameron Kelly. Team captain is Bailey. Averaging close to 53 yards a punt, Jay. West Truxton is back, awaiting it. High hanging kick and Truxton makes the fair catch in the vicinity of the 39-yard line for San Diego State. Chick-fil-A lineups for the Aztecs. We start with their quarterback, Christian Chapman. Again, a quarterback, Ben, who doesn't make dis poor decisions. Smart with the football, a quick release, not really a strong arm. 20 touchdowns last year, three this year, only four, seven interceptions total. They don't ask him to do a whole lot because they want to run the ball, go play action, and take shots down the field. He's 15 and 3, you see there, as a starting quarterback. Rashad Penny, seven yards deep. They fake it to Penny. They roll out Chapman. He's got time. He's got space. He dives. And then he takes it out to the 43 yard line. San Diego State offense, our Chick fil A lineups. We continue. Jay, who do you like there tonight? Well, I highlighted David Wells, their tight end. He's coming back from a Jones fracture. Didn't play in their first game, a little bit more against ASU. I think he's key to the run game here. His health, being able to be a downhill blocker, get that run game started, and then a couple of shots, play action, find David Wells. He's a quarterback's best friend. Nick Bodden, the fullback. Penny, right side. 
Gets the first down right to the midfield. Stripe does Rashad Penny. Stanford defense brought to us by Chick-fil-A. Jay, who do you highlight there tonight? The only game that I've done, Ben, up in the booth where the defensive tackle was the leading tackler, but Harrison Phillips, he's got 16 tackles. Just a stud, playing phenomenal. And if you want to stop Penny and this offensive from running the ball, your nose tackle, Harrison Phillips, he's going to play a big part in stopping that offense. Number 66, career high 11 tackles last week against Southern Cal. On first and ten, they fake Chapman looking to take a shot. In trouble, now flings it, and it is caught on the near side. It's caught by Rashad Penny. Reed took him out of bounds. Not how they drew it up, but it worked. No, but they love to slide Penny out. He'll go up and chip and then slide out. You're going to see Penny, number 20, come up. Look, chip right there. And then now he's out there. He's an outlet for the quarterback. He have, if he doesn't have anything downfield, find Penny. There's nobody you'd rather have with the ball in your hands than sure. number 20. And Stanford has to always know where Rashad Penny is. 13-yard pickup. Penny had a receiving touchdown last week. It's the Mountain West Offensive and Special Teams Player of the Week last week. Here he goes again right up the gut. And a pickup of seven. He was stopped by Dylan Jackson, defensive end there. Interesting in talking to the coaches about Rashad Penny and what he means to them. Well, you see the cut back there. Just great vision. But these coaches, they give Rashad Penny and their backs, Pumphrey last year, a lot of latitude. They allow them to make cuts. It's not you have to run in this gap. They'll run a lot of A-gap runs and then allow them to either break it outside or break it on the cutback, which you saw Penny do. And one thing the coaches do is they let Penny and Juwan Washington, who's now in at tailback, decide when they want to come out, take a breather, play fake. And they get him. Dropped in the backfield. Good pressure there by Stanford. As they come in, it's Mike Tyler, the linebacker, to get him. Interesting decision to go play action there. It's second and three. You have the chains in your favor. They go play action. They get a sack. And now you're backed up third and ten. And you're outside of field goal range. You were in field goal range before the sack. Tyler came in with six tackles so far this season. His 28th career game for David Shaw. Fifth year senior he is. Third and ten here. Penny's back in the game next to Chapman in the shotgun. Aztecs 56.6% on third down conversions. They dump it off. It's in the hands of Penny. Penny broke one tackle, can't break another. And this will bring up a fourth and short. Jay, decision time coming for Rocky Long. Well, they got a great kicker in John Perrin. He's made 23 straight field goals inside of 50 yards. You're looking at fourth and two at the 29. He's That'll going. 46 yard field goal. Interesting because he told us points are a premium. Yeah. Anytime we get a chance, we're going to take those points. I think this comes from Rocky Long. His decision listen, we need to go for it right now. Let's assert ourselves. One of those try to punch him in the mouth statements, right. right? This game will be decided up front. Fourth and two. Penny's got it. Penny stretching. And I don't think he got it. He was wrapped up around the ankles by Sean Barton. It's really close. It's really close. You're right, Jay. And they get a big stop, Ben. Huge on stop. On this first series. Stanford wins the battle of the trenches that time against Rocky Long's team. As Penny comes up short on that fourth and two attempt. So a turnover on downs. For those of you watching on CBSSports.com, our streaming coverage will conclude after the commercial break. But we will continue on CBS Sports Network. You can find us by going to CBSSportsNetwork.com. No score the ball game early on. A fourth and two. Rocky Long's team decided to go for it. Welcome upstairs alongside Jay Feely, John Triffin on the field. My name is Ben Holden. And Stanford will take over after that stop on fourth down. Let's take a look at your keys to victory for these teams. Well, when you look at Stanford, they ha this new offensive line has to protect Chris. And they can't let Penny beat them defensively, make them find somebody else. And then you've got to protect the ball. Don't allow Stanford to get a big lead on you. Watch out for Bryce Love. He's had long runs to start each of Stanford's first two games against Rice, a 63-yard run, not a touchdown. And then last week, a 75-yard run for a touchdown. Here he goes on the first play, and apparently San Diego State knew that. They were ready for it, Ben. Lomax. 
Trey Lomax, their warrior, coming on a blitz. They bring him on a run blitz, and he comes up and meets Love and says, hey, this isn't going to be as easy as last week. <laughs> no question about it, Lomax. Bryce Love didn't get touched on that 75-yard run no. at USC last week. He got popped in the mouth there. Lomax, a veteran leader on that defense. Second and 10 for Keller Crest. Down low. And Irwin, the intended target, they say no. Incomplete on the pass. Third down coming up. JR Chick fil A lineups. The Aztec defense, who do you highlight today for them? Well, with this unique defense, Parker Baldwin plays the Aztec position. It's the key to this aggressive defense. Rocky Long gives Baldwin a lot of freedom to run the ball, run around box, and find the ball. He's an aggressive player. They just love the way he plays football. From the minute he stepped on campus, this position fit him. Country strong, as coach called him. Third and ten, Stanford. Chris taking a shot down the middle. Arcega white side. Diving play nearly intercepted in double coverage. That was once again Trey Lomax breaking it up. The problems last week have re emerged again even though they got this new offensive line pressure on Chris not having a clean pocket that he can step up and deliver he was hit eight times last week against USC two sacks four balls batted down and once again these problems continue to rear their head what an effort from Trey Lomax there has it for a second the ground knocks the ball away good job by Whiteside to finish yeah. make sure he didn't catch that interception peeled it out of there just to be sure Bailing on to punt for the second time in the game. Quite a leg. He drives Truxton back. Fair catch called for. And the ball will be down at the 20. I see Jay counting players. They got the right number out there? No, 52-yard punt. Phenomenal okay. punt. 8.33 to go. David Shaw and Stanford scoreless with San Diego State. San Diego State with the ball. First down and 10, five and a half to go here in this first quarter. No score in the game. San Diego State's put together one drive, went for it on fourth and two, were stopped. There's Penny with another carry for Rashad Penny. Ben Edwards, one of their safeties, made the tackle. Jeff Horton, the offensive coordinator for Rocky Long. He's been around a lot of running backs in his days. And he gave high, high praise. I think it surprised us all yesterday when he said, He's the best he's ever been around. And he said he was my favorite yeah. back I've ever been around. He's been yeah. around some great backs as well. Here's a run to the near side. Good job to protect that football. That was Jawan Washington on the carry, the change of pace back. And he moves the chains first on Aztecs. Well, they did a really good job. Misdirection. You have Penny in the backfield. You line up like you're going to give him the ball. And you have Washington come on the jet sweep. Good play design by Jeff Horton, getting that defense flowing towards Penny and then giving the ball to Washington for the first down. Fourth first down of the game for San Diego State. The Cardinal yet to register one. Jawan Washington, tough running there. It's going to be that kind of night. Both coaches telling us, yeah, the line of scrimmage, everything in this game will be decided there. And Jeff Horton said we have to run the ball. We have to protect the ball and we have to stay out of third and long. Those were the keys. Keep the clock running. Play smart. And he did say take every point when we get it. He went away from that. Yeah. They went for it on fourth down. They could have kicked a 50 or 47 yard field goal. Didn't do it and didn't get it on fourth down. Stanford's only had the ball two minutes and 19 seconds in this game. Chapman to the air. Catch made near the stick. It's Michael Holder. Murphy was over there but could not get there in time. Michael Holder is their best receiver, most consistent, runs good routes, catches the ball well. 26 starts, that's the most on the offense, most experienced player on that offense. And you'll see Michael Holder and his brother, Elijah Holder, identical twins going up against each other. That's pretty special. <laughs> that is special. Several hundred family and friends in attendance, the parents from nearby Oceanside, of course, here to watch. It's Washington getting the carry up the gut. Cotton in on the tackle along with Calumbai. They're the parents we mentioned there. 
It's always tough when you got a son on each team. How cool is that? But also, who do you root for? You're rooting for both of them. Yeah. Not really a team, I would, I would suspect. Parents, William and Angela. Middle of your screen there. Second and five. Going to bring up a third and three ball to 40. Rashad Penny the carry there. Four hundred and thirteen yards to open the season for Penny. The most since Marshall Falk had five hundred and nineteen to open the year in ninety two. San Diego State eighty rush yards to negative five for Stanford third and three. What do you look for Jay? I think they're going to run the ball. Continue to run it. Do what you do, which is give the ball to Penny and allow him to make plays. There goes Penny through the hole. He bursts his way inside of the 30. They'll move the chains. Rashad Penny bringing the lumber that time for the first down. Gain of 19. Lining up an unbalanced. Going big on the offensive line. Giving the ball to Penny. Getting the first down. That's what they do. You're going to see a lot of unbalance where they bring two, three tight ends, both teams into the game, an extra tackle, those big jumbo packages, and just run the ball right at that defense. Inside of 20 seconds remaining in the quarter now. Second time the Aztecs have been down in this part of the field. Into the 24-yard line they go. Tackle made by Harrison Phillips there on Penny. That'll be the final play of the opening quarter. Number 19, Stanford. San Diego State, no score after one. California dreaming indeed. Northern Cal against Southern Cal here tonight. It's the end of the first quarter with no score. You're watching college football on CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Back to work. For San Diego State in the end zone. They looked for Michael Holder. You mentioned him earlier, Jay. They wanted him for six there, and he just couldn't get it. He was covered by Murphy. He had a step. Watch. He's going to get by. He's got a step. Chapman can play the, put the ball in there and allow his receiver to make a play through it too far. Just being a little too careful with that ball. Third and eight now from the 24. Aztecs one of four on third down. Passing as Chapman gets away. Now what's he going to do? He's going to be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage, which, which he did. Okariki, who's had a big night so far, led the charge. Jackson, Dylan Jackson also in there helping out. Well, watch everybody. Great coverage <laughs> downfield. Nowhere to go for Chapman with the ball. You got covered, covered, covered. Nowhere to go. And a good job by Chapman not making a bad play worse, tucking the ball, and now you can bring in your field goal kicker, who, like I said, has made 23 straight field goals inside of 50 yards. That's the longest streak in college football. And I probably just put the jinx on him, Ben. <laughs> longest in Mountain West history, yes. He is four of four this season, season long 39. The lefty gets the leg into it. No jinx. He knows you're here. Up and good. San Diego State Jays got a three nothing lead. John Barron has been money for this team. Stepping in, making kicks. When you play ball control and you run the ball, you need a kicker who can make field goals. John Barron, give the Aztecs the lead. Three nothing. Well, we introduce you to the Holder brothers, the twins, Elijah of Stanford, Micah of San Diego State, born in 96 in Oceanside. Never played against each other. They've always been on the same team. They both said, yeah, some heads were cracked, some furniture was broken. We were kids. We had a lot of fun. And they're having fun tonight. So, too, are the parents who are with John Schiff and John. Well, Ben, thank you so much. I am with their parents, Will and Angela. I know you've got to be a little nervous here. They've never done this before. What is it like watching them both on the field against each other? Uh, it's a little nerve wracking, you know, but um, we've been preparing for it for a while now since last year. So we're just trying to, you know, keep all the emotions in check and just get through it. Ben, I'll send it up to you for the kickoff. Very good. Thank you, John. Scarlett in the end zone is going to bring it out. See if Stanford can get going. This might help their cause. Good return for Scarlett there. Back to John Schriffen with the Holder parents. John. Okay, so the question everybody wants to know, when you have two sons playing against each other, who do you root for? 
whoever does the play. I don't know. It's hard. I was like trying to watch them. It's so stressful. I didn't think it would be this stressful. It's hard. Yeah. Not having to go through this before, they haven't gone through it either. What advice did you give them before the game? Uh, basically, you know, just to play hard and um, whatever happens, you know, whatever happens, happens. It's football. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Ben? Thank you, John. It's a great story and matched up once in the game. Jay, what does Stanford have to do here? Well, they've they've done to get nothing. This off and, you know, they, they had wholesale changes on this offensive line, and they've had three total yards in the first quarter. On the ground. They're going nowhere. That was Love, who came in the number four rusher in the country. They have to get these tight ends. They have four tight ends. You're going to see a good job by that defensive line and pressure. There's Phillips. We've talked about him a lot. He's having a phenomenal year. But get these tight ends involved. You have four tight ends if you're Stanford. They told us it is a bevy of talent. Huh, is it? <laughs> and yet they haven't done anything to get them the ball, to get them involved in this game. This is a tight end core that comes in having 15 receptions, 174 yards already. Story of the game there and those numbers. Chris, man open, catch made, pass the first down stick. It's Irwin with a grab, who they absolutely love. Makes the grab, first down, Ron Smith the tackle. They told us his best attribute is separation. He gets unbelievable separation. You can see him create space. Chris kind of floats the ball over there. That's the thing that I noticed. Not a great arm, doesn't hammer the ball, but really good touch, knows where to throw it. And when he throws the deep balls, which they haven't really tried yet, they tried a couple when there was pressure, and Chris wasn't able to step in, deliver. First, first down of the night for Stanford. 17 straight games. Irwin's had a catch. This is Love trying to use that speed. He's a home run hitter, and he may have just hit one here. Bryce Love, touchdown, Stanford. A 51-yard gallop to the end zone for Bryce Love. Stanford, the first touchdown in this game. That's what that this offense can do. Get the ball to Love. He can hit a home run. You're going to see number two, Trent Irwin, getting a great block downfield. If you want to have big runs, Ben, your wide receivers have to block downfield. They got a great block from Irwin, and he sets Love free for the touchdown. Eighth rushing touchdown of his career is Jet Toner, who's yes, yet to miss this season, either field goal or point after, continues to be perfect. 7-3 Stanford. The power of love here, Ben. Just give him the ball. He'll make plays, getting downfield, getting a great block from his receiver, getting in the end zone. Finally, some fireworks that we expected. Stanford up 7-3. After a 51-yard touchdown run, by the young man taking a drink of Gatorade there, Bryce Love, who Jay has four carries, 55 in the touchdown here so far. That offensive line, Ben, finally got him rolling. It had been tough sledding so far, trying to gel. They get a big play. Three plays, 63 yards. It took 127 as Penny will let this one bounce. Bryce Love, the junior, 160 in his first game, 160 in the game against Southern Cal. Back to work goes San Diego State. Short pickup. Let's get. That's pretty one-sided. Thank you, Brent. Surprise, Jay? I thought Louisville had a shot. I, yeah, I, I did. did too. You know, as, as good as they've looked so far, they had a tough game in the first game against Purdue. Chapman goes in the air, catch is made. That's Michael Holder the catch. Elijah Holder, his twin brother, takes him down. There we go, brother and brother twins. They've had a lot of battles throughout the years. Now, if you're the parents, you can't root for anybody there. 15-yard <laughs> pickup, and One Chapman... son catches it, the other one gives up a pass. Yeah, Chapman took quite a couple of shots there. There they are. He took a shot, but he delivered a good ball and made a completion. That's what they need him to do. Chapman, quick slant, broken up, brother on brother. Elijah wins that battle on Micah. <laughs> well done. All right, so it's one and one. Micah caught one on Elijah. <laughs> Elijah broke one up on Micah. 
And both their parents are sitting there. I don't know who to root for. <laughs> that one's a that wash. Was that's a tie. That's tough. For the parents, that's a tie, right? <laughs> it's just a hard game for them. I'm sure it is to watch both their boys. They want to see them both yes. do well. <laughs> right there. He just that's a tie. Right. It's a wash. <laughs> Second and ten. Chapman in all kinds of trouble. Bad decision there as Eric Cotton just ate him for dinner. Well, they faked the reverse to Washington. They were trying to get Penny, number 20 in the middle of your screen, to come out on the backside, trying to get the flow to Washington this way. But Stanford did a good job recognizing it. David Shaw told us we have to know where Rashad Penny is every single play. He's going to run the ball. They're going to try to find ways to throw him the ball because he's that good. And it's just a good job defensively by Lance Anderson's defense for Stanford, finding where Penny was, not getting dis distracted by the flow going the other way, the fake, the reverse to Washington, getting a big stop and getting the ball back. Loss of 15 on the play, so it's third and 25. And they take the injured linebacker, Sean Barton of Stanford, up to the room to give him further attention. Got a brace and an ice bag on that right knee. Third and 25, not a lot of plays in San Diego's playbook on third and 25. I would expect a draw or a screen to Penny here. Just trying to get some room, punt the ball. Yep. Don't take a chance. Don't turn the ball over here if you're Chapman, and he's done a great job of that throughout his career. Third and 25, they need midfield to convert. Phillips, Harrison Phillips on the back of Rashad Penny first. So they get it out a little further. Stanford's got a timeout left. San Diego State with two with a minute 59 to go. Fourth and 18 upcoming. Almost got that one. Good pressure by Stanford. Tyler from the 19 got away from the first man. He can't get away from the second. Outstanding open field tackle and great pursuit right there. Turned in by Tyler, Tyler Morris. Morris. Yes. And he had the edge. Now watch. The return's coming out. Tyler Morris should get upfield and not allow him. He didn't, but he was able to recover. Make the play as you're coming down on puck coverage. Tyler Morris should have got up the field and not allow him to get wide to the wide side of the field. So he made a mistake, but he recovered from it, made a great tackle. So a minute 50, the two-minute drill here for Stanford now. They lead the game by four, the number 19 team in the nation do. They're out of timeouts. Taylor Christ surveys, dumps it off to Bryce Love. He's hit immediately. Good stick made there by Cameron Kelly. He's playing well tonight. He really Had the is. sack earlier. A nice play there to come up. Tackle Love inbounds. You said it, Ben. They don't have any timeouts, so that keeps the clock running. Down to 90 seconds and counting. Second and seven. Pressure again. Chris got it off incomplete. Looking at the 30-yard line, could not come up with a catch. It was one of their outstanding tight ends. That's Dalton Schultz. Roy Cassidy helping. Could have been late there. Defensively, Chris was yeah. looking for it. They need the 33-yard line. And they plan on keeping this drive alive. Chris. Throws it out, dangerous play! It's intercepted! Taken away by Smith of San Diego State. You touched on it, Jay. They're not forgetting the turnovers. That's the first Stanford turnover in the last six games, and it couldn't be more timely for San Diego State. Well, Chris making a poor decision. David Shaw told us he was excellent in his decision-making, throws the ball into traffic. You see four defenders, and he floats the ball in there, allows Ron Smith to come up and make the play. A nice break on the ball. 51 interceptions. That's 52 since yes. 2015. The most in FBS. The fact that they've only thrown 10 interceptions yeah. in, since 2015, and they've gotten 52, is spectacular, and it gives them the ball at the 15-yard line. They got a chance to go in and take the lead. So Ron Smith, just a sophomore out of Oakland, had two pick sixes last year, his fifth career interception. That's Penny going wide. Golden opportunity here for San Diego State. They take a look. Now the other way. They throw. Catch made. 
And it's caught by Kahale Waring. And they're in the red zone, brought to us tonight by Verizon, are the Aztecs. Good job using Penny as a distraction, taking a motion him out of the backfield, taking all the focus of the defense out wide, and then finding him wearing on the backside. What a story he is. One year of high school football. He was an accomplished water polo player. His first game in high school, he had over 100 yards receiving. We saw him last year at San Diego. San Diego State's game against Northern Illinois had his first career catch and touchdown. Big play there for him. Power football running the ball here out the left side. Play action. They fake it. Chapman, man open. They throw it. The catch made. And it's wearing again. So it'll bring up third down. First down. They got it. Excellent job by Jeff Horton. He fooled me. Fooled us all. Fooled Lance Anderson in the Stanford defense. You come out, you go with your jumbo package. You think everyone thinks Penny's getting the ball. You go play action, get the first down. First and goal now. Toss. Penny trying to get it. He dies. Rashad Penny. Touchdown, San Diego State. The interception by Smith. Sets him up as the fireworks go off here at San Diego Stadium. 19th career rushing touchdown. Rashad Penny, who played three years behind Donnell Pumphrey. Barron, perfect 10-7 game, Jay. San Diego State will take a three-point lead. Emotions are... Very high in this game. Stanford's got to go across the field to the tunnel to our left. San Diego State will get the second half kickoff as well. It's almost like an X where they go off the field. They cross, and David Shaw directing traffic down there. And now they now they can cross. It's like a crossing guard. Now you can go. My guys are passed. <laughs> that had bad news written all it over did. it. did. The coaches did a good job making sure that nothing was going. There's some heat from the coaches. Look at them going yeah, at Yeah, there's a David lot of Shaw, emotion. David Shaw not happy at all. He's still John. Interesting You don't end. see that often from no. David Shaw. He is usually calm, posed, and collected. Very good. And they calm down. They'll head to their rooms. That's the end of the first half with a score. San Diego State 10, Stanford 7. We send you back to our studio, the Verizon Halftime Report, right after this. Inching closer to the start of the third quarter, David Shaw, 19th-ranked Stanford, down by 3, 10-7, as we're set to begin the third quarter. So Antonio Rosales there, their most veteran lineman, Jay, loses his cool. Then David Shaw gets in there in this fracas, the scrum that broke out with Hunky Cooper, the wide receiver coach. The officials separate them. And David Shaw in a much calmer state now than he was at the end of the half. <laughs> you don't see that very often with David he Shaw. He doesn't show a lot of emotion. Jay Feely, Ben Holden, John Schriffen, all of our great crew. It's great to have you with us here for this late night edition of Stanford and San Diego State. First half stats day, they're brought to us by Humana. What are your biggest takeaways or takeaway from those numbers? Well, the story of the game at the beginning of the game was the offensive line, the wholesale changes that the offensive line had at Stanford, and there's been pressure. Chris got sacked three times. He got hit a number of times. They've had issues all over that offensive line. They gotta fix that, otherwise they're gonna have a tough time here in the second half. Very good, third quarter. Just about set to begin here at San Diego Stadium. Rocky Long, his team trying to make it two straight wins this season against a Pac-12 team. Deep manner, Penny in Washington, and Penny will take a knee. Down to John Schriffen, who has more on the end of the first half. John, what'd you find out? Well, I talked to Stanford's head coach, David Shaw. He was clearly still not happy about the way the half ended. So I asked him what exactly happened. He said, well, some individuals lost their composure, and he made it sure to point out it was not on our side. He said, our job is to be good representatives of, for college football. And I also spoke to Coach Rocky Long at the end of the half. He told me we just have to keep our composure for the rest of this half. Guys. Thank you so much, John. And 
Monkey Cooper, wide receiver coach, back of his head there in third year. Chapman did a good job in the first half, Ben. Didn't make any big mistakes, didn't throw an interception like Chris did. Mm -hmm. Delivered the ball, 10 for 15, 89 yards, effective. Truxton in motion. Fake the penny, Chapman's got some room, dumps it off, catch made, Aztecs get out near midfield, it's caught. Beautiful job, you talked about him way in the open, David Wells, more for his blocking, but that's a big play he makes there. We had 25 receptions last year, 294 yards and four touchdowns. It's his first catch of the year, but really credit Chapman there. Because he comes out and presents that he's gonna run, the linebacker's got to come up, and he finds Wells. It's a nice completion and another first down. Yeah, he missed their opener against UC Davis. Snapped a streak of 40 straight games he'd played in. The redshirt senior out of Clovis, California. Once again on the ground. Look out, Penny. Big hole. Penny Lane right there, I suppose, from Rashad Penny. Brandon Simmons dropped him. This is the fourth time they've done this. Watch Washington come in motion across, bringing the eyes of the defense across, and then Penny's going to hit this hole. Look at this hole here. A lot of room for Penny. I think if he goes left there, he might have had a big one, but that's what they want to see. Good job by that offensive line climbing, getting to those linebackers in the second level, creating seams for their great running back. Three first downs on this drive. Toss. Penny gets free. Takes on a man. Head on. That's caught in the defensive end. Rashad Penny playing like a man possessed. He gets nine. Physical running. You can see the toss. The cutback's all on Penny. He has the ability and the latitude in that offense. If he sees space to go to it, saw the space. And what a nice, hard, physical run. Rashad Penny on this drive is five for 39 on the ground. This is Washington, though, the smaller back in terms of height. He's about 5'8". List him at 5'7". I'll give him the 5'8 with the cleats in. Well, San Diego State gets really good running backs because two things. Yeah. They're committed to running the ball. Mm -hmm. They have a really good system, and the backups get touches. Penny had 1,000 yards last year as Pumphrey's backup, who had over 2,000. And so you know you're going to play, and they create a system where you have the freedom to be able to pick your holes, and backs like that. Somebody had asked Rocky Long earlier in the week in their media session, do you feel like you handled him right? Because he broke a tackle, can't break that one. Did you feel like you handled him right the last couple of years? And he said, yeah, because now he can take a 30-carry workload. To your point. When you have a 2,000-yard back and you have the back up 1,000 yards, yeah, you handled them right. <laughs> You're yeah, darn absolutely. right you did. <laughs> Second and 10, no gain on that run. Christian Chapman, 15-3 and three as a starter. Penny, 6 for 34 now on the drive. It's going in motion. There he goes. Play clock to 5, they get it off. Straight drop back, Chapman. And the Cardinal converge. Short gain maybe on the play. The tackle made by the defensive end, Dylan Jackson. Third and long coming up. Good decision by Chapman, though. There wasn't anybody open. Stanford did a good job covering all the receivers. Tuck it, get what you can get. Don't force the ball and create a turnover, which is what Chris did at the end of that half. Two minutes left, he forces the ball. San Diego State cashes that in for a touchdown. Third and nine. Mike on Elijah down at the bottom. Twins matched up. Chapman, they bring heat, dumps it off. Catch made, a little bit of room over there. Trying to sneak through there and get close to the first down was Washington. Meeks got him down low. Fourth down and short, Jay. You got a great kicker. They had fourth and two earlier. Decided on the first drive to go for it. Didn't get it. Cost them three points, potentially. They're deciding to go for it here. They are. Penny comes back into the game, too, to spell Washington. Flag flies. Substitution infraction. The 12th player broke from the huddle. This is a five-yard penalty. 
Ooh. Fourth down. So that changes things. Well, and now it, you'll kick the field goal. Yep, Barron's going to come on. He's made 24 straight from 50 or less going back to last year. And try to extend the lead to six. They were looking at bringing in an extra offensive lineman. He gets into the huddle. Now he's running out exactly what Stanford did. Same call. Mm -hmm. Good job by the officials. So here's John Barron, the second. Michael Holder, go figure, is the holder, and Barron bangs it through. Getting it back around that right upright. To make it 13-7, San Diego State on top of number 19, Stanford. Barron hasn't missed since early last year from inside of 50. Still perfect there. By Phillips 66. Proud to be here. And by Experian. Identity protection has a new identity. Beautiful shot of downtown San Diego, the skyline. 8.33 to go in the third quarter. And John Barron, a Mountain West record. And the longest active streak in the FBS, he's made 25 field goals in a row from 50 yards or less. And he kicks off well, too. He and does. A, you know, getting touchbacks is a big advantage for a team. Taylor Christ. Schultz in motion. Halfway through the third, Love. Around the edge, he gets the edge. He's explosive. He's into the open field. Bryce Love gets a block. No flag, still on his feet. And they trip him up inside of the 15-yard line. And that was Kelly with another huge play, Jay. They didn't set the edge. One of the things that Danny Gonzalez told us they had to do, set the edge right there. Watch 54 in the middle of your screen. He's going to come all the way back down right here. There he is. 30 yards downfield, making a block for Bryce Love, getting a huge gain, and that's what Stanford needs. Keep giving him the ball. I don't know yeah. why he went away from him. 47-yard gain. Cameron Kelly, the defensive coordinator, Danny Gonzalez, says it's a very confident guy. He's played that way. Fifth consecutive 100-yard gain for Love. Now back to the air. Catch made by Irwin. Gang tackled. In the vicinity of the eight-yard line, they call him Shaggy based on his hair. He's a tough guy to cover. He's a tough guy to handle. Stanford back in the red zone. Tonight it's being brought to you by Verizon. And this is foreign territory tonight for Stanford. That was a good pass. Nice completion. Burns is back in the game. Toss. Love. Kelly greets him, trying to strip it. Smith came in there. Physical, physical game this has been. And he hangs onto the ball, Jay. <laughs> Watch Burns come out here. He's going to drop and he's going to get the block again. 17 with the toss and then getting the block, <laughs> sealing the edge. <laughs> Impressive for the quarterback. You don't see that very often. Third in the yard. They need to reach the three-yard line. Chris back in. That's Scarlett with a carry. And the spot I'm seeing, he's a little bit short. David Shaw is quoted as saying, we want to run the ball when they know we are going to run the ball and we want to be successful. That's what they tried to do right there. You line up, everybody's inside. Nobody has any question about what you're doing. San Diego State was up to the task. Bailey, the punter will hold. Jet Toner, sophomore out of Honolulu. Perfect so far in his career. This one from 20, but not an easy kick, right, Jay? Or is it? I mean, yeah, it's a kick you should make. Well, just the <laughs> angle. The angle does add to it, but that's, that's a kick you should make. Yeah. Again, yeah. I'm surprised that they kicked the field goal there. 
Didn't go for it on fourth down. But positives for Stanford. Getting a field goal, getting points. David Shaw, he's trying to figure it out. That's a pretty interesting number right there, yeah, Jay. Yeah, and that may be why he made the decision to kick the field goal. I still would have gone for it on fourth yeah. down and in inches. Because you got them backed up if you don't get it. If you get the first down there last year, 85% of the time, first and goal inside the three, you scored a touchdown. I say this jokingly because of what you did for 14 years. Every time you say that, <laughs> I, I laugh just like you are. But I'm with you in all seriousness. If you're the smash small team that's, that's going right. to run the ball, Not you got to jam it in I the end zone. Good decision to go for it because if you don't get it, they're backed up. But that's who you are. Yeah, exactly. You are the physical team that wants to run it. You, the play before you ran it and you and you got stopped. So you're you're acquiescing and saying, OK, you're tougher than us. We can't get that yard. So let me ask you this. When that happened in your career, whether it was at Michigan or. Oh, yeah, I always want to kick the field. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Third and a yard. They need this one to the Aztecs. He gets away, takes on a defender, and just ran him over. Rashad Penny doing it again. A man possessed on Brandon Simmons. He just wiped him out. Let's watch this right side of the offensive line. Rosales and Pope right here is your right guard, right tackle. Nice little combo block getting to the second level. That's what I talked about at the beginning of the half to create big runs for Penny. You got to have your offense alignment climb to that second level, get a block on a linebacker, create space for Penny. 110 on the night so far for Rashad Penny. Chapman looks to the air. Had a man down there, but there was double coverage. Now dumps it off and Penny does everything he can to get to the 49 down to John Schriffen for more on that young man Rashad Penny. Well Ben and Jay you guys talked about it earlier just how special he is. We talked to offensive coordinator Jeff Horton and he said look at the guys he's coached over the course of his career. Steven Jackson with the Rams Ron Dane at Wisconsin Donald Pumphrey here last year of all the guys he's coached he said Rashad Penny is his favorite because of his attitude. He always comes to practice with a smile guys. That's that's saying a lot. I mean that's a. Uh, it's a pretty bold statement. He's been around all those great backs, and that play does not work for Horton. There's Jeff Horton. They just love not only the back and what he can do on the field, but the person and who he is and how hard he works. The unselfishness that he has, and he's getting the opportunity now to start. You love to see that. Rocky Long said Penny might be the best running back in all of college football. That's high praise. And, and this not Rocky Long's not a guy that's going to throw out no. these accolades. You got to earn it. That's right. Third and nine for Jeff Horton's offense. The Holder brothers at the bottom lined up against each other. That's where Chapman likes to go. He's looking that way. Micah up and he couldn't make the catch. Elijah wins that head to head battle. Has a little tap for his twin on the back of the helmet too. Says hey not this time. I love my brothers. Absolutely. <laughs> but there's nothing I like Hate better. Losing. There's nothing I like better than beating them. Here's brother on brother. <laughs> They've been battling their whole lives. Little contact. Crowd wanted a call, but Elijah wins that battle. Fourth and nine brings on the punt group. Elijah Holder stays out on the punt coverage team for Stanford. Good punt. Excellent punt. Yeah, both these punters doing the job. Tyler, he's dangerous. Jay Tyler, and he's going to be forced out of bounds. Out of the gun, Chris on first and ten for Stanford. Finds an open man. Three Aztec defenders there to wrap him up and drop him. That's Trent Irwin on the grab. 85 seconds and counting to play in this third, a rapidly moving third quarter. Long possession for San Diego State. To begin quarter number three. Stanford one and one, 19th in the country. San Diego State two and oh. You gotta believe if San Diego State were to win this game, they'd go up into the top 25. Chris, hands off. Shot delivered. Hard hit on that last run. It was Spates. Here we go. Ooh. So Noble Hall come in there. He had a phenomenal game last week against ASU. Two sacks, two forced fumbles, five tackles. I said earlier, these guys, they want to prove 
But Stanford made a mistake not recruiting them. These kind of plays right here, third and short. They need a yard. Barely a yard. Stanford's got it. Cameron Scarlett gets a couple on the carry there to move the chains. First two games, he had been their number two guy in terms of running backs. That's the kind of play I thought Stanford would run on fourth and one down at the four yard line when they decided to kick the field goal. Now those kind of plays right there that are the staple of who they are. I think David Shaw is just content to let the time wind down and end the third. So San Diego State and their home field. End of three on top by three. Rocky Long's crew on top 13 10 that's the end of the third quarter you're watching college football on CBS Sports Network the 24 hour home of CBS Sports Our game summary brought to us by Bud Light aside from the red what else is grabbing well, your eyes the two turnovers yep. for sure you, you throw the pick San Diego State turns it into a touchdown you're driving you get the force fumble pressure and you've seen a change in the second half of Stanford they're not dropping Chris back taking the five and seven step drops it's all play action rollouts first play of the fourth quarter this is love trying to beat Kelly love puts on the Jets puts his foot in the ground Bryce love to the house touchdown Stanford is second of the game oh can he move Nine seconds in, and the Stanford faithful here loving that. His ninth career rushing touchdown, second of the night, 53 on that one. Excellent job sealing. You got a guard pulling, and then Love just being able to explode. That's that next gear that he has, a little shake that just slows Cameron Kelly down, and he's able to get the corner explode into the end zone for the touchdown. Jet Toner on for the point after. Hunter Bailey will hold. Trying to make it a four point lead. Jay, you know Sublime, right? The love is what I got. That's what Stanford's got right now. Yeah, they're loving it. <laughs> Bryce Love taking it to the house. Stanford back up on top. We got a game. Our Geico difference makers tonight, Jay. First on the marquee, Bryce Love. He's only averaging 16 yards. Not bad. That's pretty good, huh? 51-yard <laughs> touchdown, 53-yard touchdown. And Penny quietly's had a great night, too. He's got 110 yards rushing, a touchdown of his own. We talked about at the beginning that this was a matchup of two of the best backs and two teams that like to rush the ball. Now, I would not kick the ball to number 20, Rashad Penny. Jake Bailey, their punter, is on to handle this kickoff for him. And he boomed you could, it. You could kick it a penny if you're going to kick it out of the back of the end zone. Yeah, right. They've moved Chapman around. They haven't let him sit back, take those five, seven step drops, and be in the pocket. I don't expect him to do that here. 143 on the ground, 141 through the air prior to this snap for Jeff Horton's offense. And it is a complete rugby scrum. Almost every player was in there. Rashad Penny had the ball. Who the tackle goes to. We'll let the officials sort that out. There's Horton. Second down upcoming. Only their fourth drive of the second half. Yeah. Kicked a field goal on the first drive. Then they punted. Then they missed the 51 yard field goal. Gain a three for Rashad Penny. Another 100 yard night for him. And you see the breakdown in the yardage for both these teams. There's Penny lined up in the slot. They don't look his way and still oh, what a hit. What a hit coming up from the back. It was laid on by Brandon Simmons. Oh my. A deep leader. And Micah Holder. Did a good job bleeding with his shoulder, not with his head. Exactly what they're trying to create in football. Safer plays. You don't want to take the physicality out of the game. They want big hits. You just don't want to lead with the head, hitting the crown of the neck or the head. He did an excellent job there. Perfect textbook tackle. Third and seven. Aztecs five of 15. 33%. Pressure coming. Dumped off. Caught. Catch is made. 
It's made, it's a first down. And that ball is caught by Michael Holder. As Chapman converts, that is a huge conversion for him. The Holder family looking on. Five minutes left, a little bit of pressure. Chapman was able to find Holder, get the first down. What an opportunity here for San Diego State. I think if you told Rocky Long, look, you'll be in the game, you'll be down four with five minutes left, he'd have said, all right, I'll take that. That's what we want. We want to keep this a close game, give ourselves a chance to win at the end. No question about it. Washington went in motion. Penny on the carry. It's been their favorite play all night, man. Yes, Bobby Okariki, 20 on 20 there, takes him down. I think it's time to loosen the tie, Feely. <laughs> <laughs> Letting her down a little bit. Fun night here in San Diego. Inside of five minutes to play. David Shaw looking on at his defense. Rocky Long at his offense. Toss play. Penny broke the first tackle. Trying to get around another man. It does. Rashad Penny delivered the shot. Simmons came over there and. Penny took down both Stanford players. That's tough running. It sure was, and Stanford did a good job of setting the edge, not allowing Penny to get out in the left, but what did he do? He stopped in his tracks, brought it back all the way across. Here he comes back across the field, and then just that lateral movement, such quick feet for a big guy. He's got power, delivers a blow. Ball spotted on the Stanford side of the field. Penny with 164. They, ca they called a timeout here, Ben, to give Penny a little rest. Yeah. They want him in the game. It's a critical point. Four minutes left. Yep. Give your best player a little breather. 358 remaining. Can Rocky Long's team take the lead late? We'll find out when we come back. We have light back in San Diego, 3.58 to play. Number 19, Stanford on top of San Diego State, 17-13. At 10.42 Pacific time, we had just gone to commercial, and Rocky Long's like, really, are you kidding me? The lights went out in the stadium. They are coming back on. We should be back to it in about two minutes from now. John Triffin's been down on the field all night. And he's on top of the story. John, what is the story? What's the latest? And what can you tell us? Well, I've been speaking to people here on the maintenance crew here at the stadium. And right now, they can't find the reason for the outage. But they said what happened was they needed for the lights to cool down and then reboot. That whole process took about 15 minutes. If you can see over my shoulder, the lights still have not gotten back to full power. Now, the officials have told me we will not resume play until all the lights have reached full power. We got about a three-minute warning. We should be back here in just a few minutes, but the coaches have told their players to get warmed up again to be ready to play. Thank you, John. And so this, Jay, this, the, well, first your point. I know you want to make. Well, it's supposed to be Pac-12 after dark, not Pac-12 in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could call it Mountain West in the dark too, right? That's right. The so Rocky Long, it's like, come on, boys. I got film to watch. Let's win the game. That's on the San Diego State sideline, of course. He's past his bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a huge opportunity Big for time. his team. First and ten. Four minutes to go in this game. Yep. 17-13. And we, we talked about it a little bit, the fact that this team and this program has an opportunity with the absence of the Chargers now to take over this city. Yes. A signature win like this against Stanford would go a long way in helping them to do that. Totally agree with you, Jay. Dave Feely, John Schiffen on the field. My name is Ben Holden, all of our great crew. It's great to have you with us here. An outstanding finish shaping up. 3.58 to go. Rashad Penny, who started the week as the nation's top rusher with 164, looking for more. Penny was tired before that. He was. The that, lights went out. They yeah. called a timeout because he was tired on the sideline. Correct. They wanted to give him a break. So he had a big advantage in getting his breath being able to come out now fresh. He sat there for almost 20 minutes. Right. It's a good point. Six yard gain there, second and four. Stanford all time in this series that goes back many years. They played in the 80. 
80s. They lead the series 3-1, but it's more about right now for San Diego State and for Stanford in their respective seasons. Fake the handoff. Got a man wide open on the outside. Caught Washington. He's dropped by Reed, the safety. Justin Reed, first down Aztecs. Good play call. You fake to Penny. That's where all of the defensive focus goes to. And then you find Washington, a nice safe pass on the backfield, getting the first down. Remember, Ben, in the first quarter, the first drive, San Diego State decided not to kick a field goal. I do. To go for it. They didn't get it. They'd be down one now if they had made that field goal. As it is, they're down four, need a touchdown. Man in motion to help out on blocking. Toss. It was Big Phillips and O's tackle that made the stop. Harrison Phillips there on Rashad Penny. And San Diego State, their last home win against a ranked opponent. You got to go back to 2010. They won that night by two. They'll be playing Air Force next week in their conference opener in our triple header of games next Saturday. There's Rashad Penny. Heavy set, Washington in motion. They hand off to Penny, and he is greeted immediately at the line, blown up by horrible Harry. I mean that kindly. It's his Twitter handle, Harrison Phillips. The He's had nose another guard. monster game. Nine tackles for Phillips. You saw the fake jet sweep. They've been doing it all night, and then handed it back to Penny. Phillips wasn't fooled. Third and five. Penny's your best player. Holder's been your guy that you've gone to through the air. Holder's at the top of the screen. Single cover, no safety help. Penny comes out now. And in the half left now in the game, there's the throw, the catch! Inside of the 10, there's Holder. Meeks on the stop, but it's a first down. In fact, it's a first and goal as the Holder parents look on at one of their two twins. One on one, single cover, just a look in. Good throw by Chapman, a great job by Michael Holder, catching the ball, securing it, taking the big hit, getting the first down. First and goal. You run those kind of plays, man. You know you're going to get hit by that safety. Michael Holder showing four to two going in there, making the play. First and goal. Fake to Penny, open man, Wells, he leaves! He gets the ball, and say touchdown San Diego State with 54 seconds to go or do they David Wells does the job couple of big catches tonight none bigger than this Jim Horton beautiful play call yeah, play know, action everybody play. thinks the ball is going to Penny Play action, come back to your tight end. San Diego State is on top thanks to David Wells, the senior out of Clovis, California. Didn't play against UC Davis. Yep. Coming back from injury. What a call by Jeff Horton. Chapman with a huge touchdown throw there and a very big point after from Barron that is good. Stanford down three, the 19th ranked team in the country. They've got two timeouts. 11 plays, 67 yards, took 521. Here's Penny. Everybody thinks it's going there. Now you're going to watch right here. This is where everything's coming. Jeff Horton dials up the perfect play call, play action. Look at the flow. Well, slips out, takes the big hit, keeps running. Gets in the end zone. What a huge play. Not just for this game, not just for this program, but this city here. They lose the charges, but you have an unbelievable team and program here building themselves, trying to take hold of this city and become the team. It's a great football city. It is. And they got an city. excellent team here. That all happened after a 19 minute power outage. It happened at 10.42 Pacific time. Love 
running through the end zone. It'll be first and ten from the 25 down to John Schriff and John. Guys, it is the loudest it has been all game. The student section is fired up, and guess what? They are getting in position to what it looks like. Rush the field if San Diego State does pull off this huge upset. They are filing down towards the edge of the field. This could be a scene if San Diego State holds on in this score. So 54 seconds remaining, Jay, from the 25 and two timeouts. What are you looking for? They have struggled all night. Stanford has to protect Keller Chris when he's dropped back and passed the ball. Now you're in a situation where you have to go down the field. Your quarterback's got to sit back there. San Diego State, they're going to dial up pressure. They're going to come because that's what they do. Here's Keller Chris. Going to take a shot on the far side. Let it intercepted. They throw for our Sega. White side, it's Cameron intercepted Kelly. by Cameron Kelly. Cameron Kelly's been huge tonight. Chris taking a shot, he's got a clean pocket. Kelly with good coverage, the ball's underthrown. Man, has he been huge tonight. Had the big sack fumble earlier in the first half. Getting the pick now. Of course this game is gonna end on an interception because that's what Rocky Long's defenses do. Third interception. Fans are making their way down, students. So for San Diego State, they had beaten Power five teams going back to last season. They beat Cal and then Arizona State. They have never beaten three straight power five teams. This could be the night for them. Stanford still has two timeouts. Penny with a carry. Surprised they're not using it I'm here, Ben. Stunned. I mean, I don't know what you're waiting on. I, I have no idea. Rocky Long's guys. The I guess David Shaw is content to let the clock run out. Wow. I would make them continue to snap the ball. Absolutely. Who knows? Maybe they fumble and you recover it, and now you're in field goal range. I would have used those timeouts. Rocky Long is 3 0. San Diego State has 19th ranked Stanford in the building. The power goes out. Stanford's out. San Diego State wins it by three, 20 to 17. Expect to see them in the top 25 next week. And the students are making their way onto the field to celebrate with the Aztec players. Now Rashad Penny. family certainly happy for Micah what a good night seven catches 85 yards big conversion on third down yeah. took a hit held the ball yep John is somewhere in there with Rocky Long John where are you man we are here on the field with coach Long coach congratulations a huge win for this program first we've got to address the lights it was about a 23 minute light power outage what kind of an effect did that have on this game well, obviously, it must have helped our team because we played really well after the lights came back on. I mean, we made a great drive on offense, and then we made a big play on defense. Coach, you've got the student section here storming the field. What kind of a win is this for this program? Well, I, I mean, I don't want to downplay it at all, but we thought we could win when we came to the game today, and, and being able to beat uh, two Power 5 teams in a row is a big, a big accomplishment for us, and it's a big step forward. But we got a lot more football to play. What do you think is the big takeaway for this game? Well, I, I, think, I think we're going to take away that we can play with anybody at any time. Coach, huge win. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate that. Ben, back to you. Thank you, John. For, for Jay Feely, John Triff, and all of our crew, our producer, Carlo Generiti, our director, Andy Friedman. My name is Ben Holden. It's been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Once again, the final score. 
San Diego State 20, Stanford 17. Now back to our New York studios and Brent and Christian.